So when you face with the firearm, there's three important things that you need to remember. You want to clear the barrel so that the firearm no longer points at your face. You want to anchor the weapon so that the attacker cannot pull it from your hands. And then you want to extract the weapon, in other words, take it from his hands, followed by counter-attacking, even shooting your attacker. Now just as a disclaimer, this is a toy gun, so if I point a gun at Yolanda or she points a gun at me, this is only a toy gun. So let's start with the first scenario. My attacker is in front of me, he's holding the gun against my head. Now, important with gun defense, we only try to take a gun if there's contact with your body. Because action is faster than reaction. So if there's distance between us and I try to grab that weapon, I will probably be too slow. Right, so when I feel contact with the weapon, the first thing that I need to do is my hands need to go high. Now I recommend holding your hands as close as possible to the gun, look as scared as you can, and then from there on we're going to take the gun. So just to change the angle slightly. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to move to the dead side. In other words, to the outside of your attacker as fast as we can, clearing the barrel. So that's the direction that we're moving in. At the same time, we're going to grab the barrel at the bottom and use our opposite hand at the back and then we're going to pull this weapon all the way to our chest with the barrel pointing towards the ceiling. So it's going to look something like this. So in slow motion, clear, anchor, and there I have the weapon. Now if you look at the weapon from a different angle, you can see it's pointing over my shoulder and it's now really difficult for her to actually shoot me. Now, at this point, the first shot may go off, so it's going to be loud, you're probably going to suffer from some burns, you're going to be temporarily deaf or maybe even permanently, but the bullet is not in your head. Now from this point, what we're going to do with the hand that grabbed the barrel, we're going to punch the attacker in the face, and then the opposite hand, we're going to punch ourselves on the chest, like this. Right, so it's a push and a pull action. So a little bit, um, the full demonstration, clear, anger, extract. So when we do it faster, it looks something like this. So it's a lot faster. Now you can see, every time when I've taken the weapon, I move away from her. That is to create distance. Because if that first shot went off, and I took the gun, the gun will now be jammed. Because it couldn't cycle the next round. So I'm sitting with a jammed gun. So I need to get space between her and me, so that I have enough time to maybe drop the magazine, so that the weapon is inoperable, or to tap and rack the weapon and see if I can clear the jam. Bear in mind, trying to clear a weapon is difficult under normal circumstances. Imagine trying to do that under stress when the bad guy is coming for you.